Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. What words do you use to define yourself? How have they changed over the years? For more than two decades, I used the term switch. I thought that because I enjoyed being the top or the bottom, that I must be a switch. That's how people around me use that term or seem to. But I realized that I'm not a submissive, like at all. I hate submission for me. It feels like an itchy sweater that is both too tight and garishly colored. It doesn't fit who I am and it makes me uncomfortable. And believe me, I tried. I really, really wanted to be submissive because I'd met a dominant man who was such a wonderful human, but I couldn't. It didn't work for me. So I wasn't a switch, but I switched. I started calling myself a dominant switch to differentiate between my role in a relationship as a dominant and what I enjoyed in play. I even added the different types of switch to the dating kinky roles in the app and the site. And that fit for a while, but didn't still quite do the job. Eventually I settled on hedonistic dominant. Perfect. That covered all of the things I like to do for my hedonistic pleasure and the fact that my role was a dominant. But by the time I figured that out, I'd added other roles, like cuckoldress. So I tacked that on and added it to my bios. Polyamorous was added, but I felt like I needed to be more clear on that too. Now, I feel pretty damn good with my overall self-given labels, but they're not all easy for others to understand. So today I'm addressing one of them. What is a pimptress? I get asked this a lot. My kinky elevator pitch is that I'm a hedonistic, dominant, cuckoldress pimptress who is polyamorous and monoromantic. In a past writing, I explained the monoromantic part a bit. So here I am for the pimptress part of all that. I thought I'd start with what Urban Dictionary had to say since I never looked it up there. A woman in control of her own sexuality doesn't take no for an answer, gets what she wants all the time, doesn't let men hold her down or take advantage of her. That's her job. The ultimate woman. Hmm. I am in control of my own sexuality. And I don't let anyone hold me down or take advantage of me, especially sexually. I don't necessarily agree with getting what I want all the time or being the ultimate woman. And I do always, always take no for an answer. Consent matters, y'all. But to me, that doesn't actually cover what I mean by the term at all because it doesn't have anything to do with pimping, and that's my jam. You see, I own my cuckold sexuality, and I can direct it as I see fit. I can veto or approve his dalliances. I can choose how he, where he, and with who. And I do, because it's fun and because we both enjoy the dynamic. And I pimp him to others because he's amazing. I don't ever try to push him onto people. I simply make it known that I think he's fucking fantastic and that he's available for play. Sometimes people take me up on that and off he goes to service them. Sometimes they connect directly with him, with my blessing. But I also pimp people I don't own in other ways. If I really enjoy someone's company or bed skills or whatever, I tell people, I connect them with my friends. I share them. All with consent, of course. Because if someone is amazing, I want others to experience that. Which probably explains why I do what I do for work. Something I do not do, and I'm asked this a lot, I do not personally try to connect people I don't know with people I do know. For example, I'm often approached by people wanting to connect with me 
in ways that I'm not available for or don't want. The conversation often includes the other person asking me things like, well, could you introduce me to any of your femdom friends? Do you know anyone looking for blank that you could point me to? Who do you know that might be interested in fill in the blank? Nope, not gonna happen. I don't know you. I will not risk the reputation I have to recommend someone I don't know or share personal information, period. You want that? Use a dating site or find people on your own. I only pimp people I really enjoy and who I have a high expectation of others also enjoying. That's my personal choice. And that's what makes it fun for me. What are your thoughts? Do you like sharing people with others? Not necessarily in the ownership way, but in the enthusiastic about them way. Do you enjoy connecting people you think are awesome together? Or do you stay away from those sorts of complications? Thank you for joining me today. If you love this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky, it's built by Kinksters for Kinksters, Poly, Queer, Trans Folk, and anyone not quite vanilla, and it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes, and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We're on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. Also, you can find me on the new Moan app in beta for iPhone. I'm Miss Nookie there. T-H-E-M-O-N-A-P-P dot com. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.